hello team and welcome back to the channel so before starting the video i would request you please subscribe to the channel we are very close to 10,000 subscribers and as you notice i am focusing on making hands-on videos so that you can learn devops in a very proper way as well as understand the complete concept okay so in, this is a series that i have created for creating multiple uh, kind of pipelines for building and deploying up different kind of applications for example yesterday we built and deployed a node.js based full stack application having backend frontend and a database okay using docker compose today someone requested uh, please uh, deploy a uh, build and deploy a full stack java based application so maven we already have maven, maven based application will be covering in future today what i wanted to show you is a full stack bank application made up of spring as java and gradle okay so we are going to work with that also as i said please subscribe that helps me a lot to and stay motivated to create such hands-on videos also i have a telegram channel which is completely open to many to many that means anyone can send messages so if you are having any doubt queries or issues you can just put up there also if i am creating any specific documents resume documents or anything else i am just posting it there so you can get it okay okay now coming to today's setting so today we are going to deploy this full stack application let me give you an overview this application is full stack and it runs fine i have tested it so i wanted to show you okay and whole source code will be available on my repository as well as on this repository this is the source uh, repository for the application okay so this is the the credit of this whole uh, repository goes to this person okay i'm not credit uh, i'm not claiming any credit for it so make sure to follow this person as well okay also i would request you make sure to follow me on github as well because uh, my github account it is having as of now 33 repositories and most of the repositories are basically fully fledged full stack applications made up of different kind of uh, programming languages okay and all these applications i have personally tested them they are running fine and they are working fine so if you want to practice with different devops uh, different projects uh, for your devops learning you can just uh, t take any of the projects from here okay so for that reason i would say kindly follow me on github so that whenever i add any new repositories you just get notified okay yeah so this is the jenkins that i have set up and now we are going to start uh, like installing required tools and start creating pipeline from scratch as you can see i have not added anything as of now that means i'm going to create a complete pipeline from scratch okay so stay tuned and let's get started okay team so now we are going to set up our jenkins for complete build and deployment process so first of all we are going to go to manage jenkins go to plugins okay here we are going to install certain plugins first of all we are going to search sonar okay after sonar we need to set up wasp okay and then docker also we need docker and certain other stages as well docker pipeline docker build step okay and other tools that we need okay this much only i can think of for now okay so yeah one more java also we need okay java if i search for java mm -mm -mm. okay let's search for jdk we are going to install jdk and you see this option eclipse temurian installer just check it and now we can click on install if I scroll down you will see whatever plugins we just selected it is getting installed along with it dependent plugins okay so let's wait for it to complete so once this gets completed we can start building our application okay okay meanwhile it is getting completed what I will do I will go to manage Jenkins once again go to tools tools see the section where you configure your whatever new tool you are installing okay if I scroll down as I mentioned we are going to build a gradle based application so gradle installations is present by default so we'll click on add gradle and let's provide a name as gradle okay and version i'm going to select uh, if i go here it is 1.5.4 release okay so i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to select gradle 1.6 that should uh, do the task okay save it click on apply now here i am going to add jdk also so jdk 8 i am going to use click on install automatically okay 
so basically only three option you see here because we have not refreshed the page you remember we just installed a new tool for JDK also right and if I do again JDK 11 scroll down install automatically now you see there is the new option install from adopt we, this is present because we just installed one tool Eclipse Timurian installer okay and yeah so JDK 8 I'm going to select what other tool what uh, what other tool we need to configure is sonar cube because we are going to perform uh, uh, sonar cube using uh, sorry code quality check using sonar cube so tool name I want to provide as sonar scanner okay rest uh, maven also let's configure in case it is needed okay yeah so this uh, yeah dependency check also let us just configure one time and install automatically we have this and version I want to use a 6.5.1 and docker so docker we just put name as docker install automatically and latest version we are going to use okay now click on apply so tools we have configured now next what we can do is uh, get started with writing the pipeline okay so for that we will click on new item provide a name as let's say cbank okay select the option as pipeline because we are creating pipelines and as a part of best practice we want to keep only two builds as in history so i will check it this option discard old builds and keep two builds okay scroll down okay now this is the most important section in case you are beginner in writing pipelines or even expert still my suggestion always go with sample pipeline that is hello world what it does it will give you an uh, structured proper pipeline template uh, which you can modify okay okay so let's start writing so first stage that i want to have in my pipeline is git checkout which is creating a local copy of source code okay now let's say i don't know how to write the command for that so for that thing uh, that uh, for that reason we have this option pipeline syntax let's open it in new page here we can select git and then we can fill the values so first thing is the repository url right next the branch so if i check here we have the master branch only no need to change then we have credentials so basically credentials is required when the registry or repository is private in my case it is public so that you people can use it so no credentials needed click on generate now it will generate simple script which you can just paste it uh, paste here first stage is done okay next to create a new a second stage we will just copy this okay and paste it here now we need to modify it little bit so here I can write the name as OASP uh, dependency uh, 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 dependency check in case you don't know what is OS dependency check it's a tool that is used for finding vulnerabilities in your dependencies that is being used in the source code or the application okay now the command for it let me show you so basically I have written a command uh, which is the one that I would suggest you also use so this is the command also do not worry like this whole pipeline will be available to you in the rep uh, this repository once I complete okay so we'll just paste it here now let me explain what is happening first we have additional arguments okay so these are the arguments which we want to uh, add okay these arguments are supposed to perform specific tasks for example I have written hyphen hyphen scan space dot slash basically it, here we are defining which path should dependency check should uh, scan okay for the vulnerabilities okay other arguments can be like uh, hyphen hyphen format and here I can write HTML now this defines what kind of format the report should be generated in but we don't need it reason we have already defined it here okay in XML and finally we have ODC installation which is OS dependency check installation in our case we have configured with the name DC just to make sure if I go to manage Jenkins tools scroll down here you can see dependency check installations and here we have DC name right okay so this is done two stages are done next what I want to add is the trivi scan so first of all I'm not sure like if trivi would be able to scan this or not 
but still I'm just adding it. If it is able to scan, then fine. If not, we can remove the stage. No issues. Okay. Okay. So trivi scan uh, command is very simple. We can just set up trivi uh, for learning how trivi works and how you can set it up. You can find the trivi video in my uh, YouTube channel. Okay. Here we can provide the details as sh trivi fs means file system and the location where it needs to scan in my case dot dot means current directory okay now trivia stage is also done okay now the thing is key uh, this application that i'm using it is a very old application you can see seven years ago okay and it is basically uh, was built with jdk 8 that also like very lower version of jdk 8 as per me because i was just testing this application and i found out that okay so since it is the, like very older version of jdk so i tried uh, like uh, uh, implementing sonar cube analysis which did not support that version of jdk at this point so we have to leave it okay but still we are going to work with docker okay docker basically for uh, building and deploying okay now in case you are wondering how we are going to use docker for building and deploying let me explain you have you can see this docker compose file right if i open it you will see a specific image is there okay docker image is there basically so it is using docker image to create a docker container okay now uh, where exactly this image came from so let that let me show you if i go to this location you can see docker file is there okay now here uh, docker file let me explain you what exactly happening when you build your application using gradle it generates the jar file inside this location build slash lips okay and here what we are doing is pasting this application in uh, pasting the jar file inside a specific location on the docker container then we are simply running the this command to uh, create the uh, sorry execute the uh, application okay and as i told this application is very old you can see from the uh, like the base os that is being used jdk 8 okay which is like kind of old at this point okay so if you build this uh, docker image then a uh, specific uh, docker image will be created and that docker image is being used here okay okay so what i am going to do now is create this application using docker compose okay so i will copy this and create new stage and let's provide the name as build and deploy because build and deploy because the application will be getting built and deployed okay now we are going to run docker commands so in my case docker command i can run in this format docker compose we are going to use docker compose up up means whatever docker file we have whatever commands have been mentioned in it that is going to be used and our uh, application will be uh, the container of the application will be getting created okay up oh. and if you are running docker commands in the uh, sorry about that in jenkins then you should always use hyphen d which means detached mode okay that means all the steps will be running in background and even job can finish okay now this is done click on apply and let's see if it gives some error or what okay so now os dependency check stage is running and interestingly you can see it was able to find vulnerabilities okay and that's why i say we should always prefer using security tools because it is very helpful in finding issues okay now trivia scan so okay so the lang number of languages that trivi supports is not present here that's why it does not generate did not generate a specific report now we have docker compose up t and yeah so our uh, application has been deployed to access the application let me show you how we can access basically you can see here port is mentioned 8000 okay inside the docker compose file as well as uh, docker file inside docker file also we can see port exposed inside the container is 8000 that means we can access the application on port 8000 okay and here let's put okay one more thing in case you are getting confused 
this port is inside the container okay but uh, from the port where we are connect from where we are connecting to it is also same how i confirm that if i go to docker dash compose dot yaml you can see this is the uh, who, uh, this is the container port which is open inside the container and this is the port on which we will access okay that means if here we are writing 8080 that means uh, we will be accessing it on 8080 but here 8000 so we will just copy and yeah port 8000 click enter and you can see this application is up and running and the best part this application is very minimalistic from what i can see okay and everything works fine very well and if i go here this is the bank section okay click on home then we have these are the individual services credit services money transfer whatever and you can click on this button and this also works fine okay you need to log in basically then for business whatever things is uh, like there it everything works fine okay and that's why i wanted to show you this application because this is a full stack application everything is working fine right yeah also let me just quickly copy the jenkins file so that when you need it you can get it okay copy all and let me create a new file here create new file jenkins file okay now you'll be having the code also one more thing that i should tell you is uh, you should you use jdk 11 do not forget that okay okay so now this is done and yeah that will be all our application is running fine everything is up and running okay so great so thanks for watching and have a nice day